another video recipe. This week's recipe it's going to be easy, fast, fresh, no cooking required except for toasting the bread. Uh, we're going to prepare bruschette today which are usually just considered of two kinds the garlic and olive oil and the one with tomatoes and garlic. Now the garlic and olive oil in Tuscany is also called fettunta which means greased slice of bread. To make these recipes you need a real good Italian bread. It can be uh, Pugliese, Italian round, ciabatta, whatever. Now the ciabatta tends to have kind of a bigger holes so it might be complicated to have it sustain the ingredients. Then you need Italian sea salt, fine, um, Italian extra virgin olive oil, fresh basil and garlic. Oh, and tomatoes. So first, uh, for, first thing I usually do is I prepare my tomatoes, dice them not too big, otherwise it's going to be complicated to eat them. And usually I do this before I toast the bread. This way they have, well, tomatoes have time to um, pull out their juices which will help wet a little bit your toasted bread, making it easier to eat. So. Almost done. Now, your tomatoes should be really ripe, but firm, so that it's easier to cut them. Then, break up basil. Basil should never be washed, because you wash away its flavor, and it should never be cut pretty much because of the same way, of the same reason. Then we're going to use half of the garlic. Mm -hmm. Here. A pinch of salt. And, as said, really good Italian extra virgin olive oil. Now, because you have very few ingredients, you have to make sure that the ingredients you're using are of real high quality. So while they sit down, we start preparing the garlic oil bruschetta, which is you toast your bread, you just quickly rub your fresh garlic on the bread. Now this one can actually go into our tomatoes. This way you get the garlic nice juice on the bread and the texture of the bread works almost like a grating. And these two are ready. And now let's do this. So it's going to be Now, make sure you're not going to put any garlic on top of your bruschetta unless you want to eat it. And see, this tomato, this tomato was really ripe to begin with, so it had some time to take out some of the juices. of basil which I love. Oh, talking about basil, um, if you grow your own basil always pick it up at the beginning because it's the time of the day it's more the most flavorful. And we are pretty much done here. Um, another thing you have to remember when you talk about bruschetta as we said it's the tomatoes, fresh tomatoes one, and the garlic and olive oil. All the other 
sort of like bruschetta dishes are considered into the group of crostini actually so just keep that in mind when you serve them um, what else can we say um, you can toast the bread in advance even if it's not warm it's not a problem and then as prepare the tomatoes in advance you can just assemble them like five minutes before serving it it doesn't really take long so I hope you will prepare them and enjoy them so here we are see you next week for another video recipe and buon appetito e a presto